On its national day, Belgium announced a pivotal decision that signals a significant shift in its defense posture, joining the Future Combat Air System, FCAS, Europe's ambitious project to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet. This move, formalized in Belgium's 2025 strategic defense vision, marks the country's commitment to becoming a full-fledged partner alongside France, Germany, and Spain in a program that has faced delays due to political hesitation and public concerns about Europe's fragmented defense industry. Launched in 2017, FCAS is a multinational initiative aimed at creating a cutting-edge air combat ecosystem to replace current-generation fighters like the Rafale and Eurofighter. Belgium's commitment includes a €300 million Euro budget allocation under its STAR plan for 2026-2034, earmarked specifically for the next development phase scheduled between 2026 and 2030. This phase focuses on delivering a technological demonstrator for the system. Belgium intends to formally join the FCAS consortium soon but emphasizes that its participation hinges on securing tangible industrial benefits for its defense sector. The FCAS program centers on the Next Generation Weapon System, NGWS, a complex integrated framework comprising the Next Generation Fighter, NGF, Remote Carriers, RCs, and the Innovative Combat Cloud. The NGF is envisioned as an advanced, multi-role aircraft equipped with state-of-the-art technologies for enhanced survivability and connectivity. Supporting the NGF, the remote carriers will conduct surveillance, electronic warfare, and strike missions, amplifying operational flexibility. The Combat Cloud represents a revolutionary digital architecture designed to enable seamless data sharing and operational coordination between manned and unmanned systems, as well as interoperability across naval, land, and cyber forces. Seven core technological pillars underpin NGWS development, each managed by leading national aerospace and defense firms such as Dassault Aviation, Airbus, and Indra. These pillars cover aircraft design, propulsion, remote systems, sensor technology, stealth capabilities, and program integration. FCAS aims not only to advance Europe's military capabilities but also to secure its strategic autonomy by reducing dependence on external defense technologies. While FCAS plans to reach a demonstrator milestone by 2027 and achieve full operational capability around 2040, the program faces internal European challenges. Belgium's decision contrasts with Defense Minister Theo Franken's earlier public skepticism. Speaking at the Atlantic Council last year, Frank Ken expressed doubts about Belgium's involvement in FCAS, criticizing the economic inefficiency of maintaining competing European fighter programs like FCAS and the UK-led Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, both demanding enormous investments with uncertain export returns. Despite these reservations, Belgium's renewed strategic direction aims to strengthen its domestic defense industry and deepen collaboration within Europe. Yet, its continued procurement of American F-35A fighters underscores Brussels' enduring Atlantis' defense alignment. With plans to acquire additional F-35s alongside existing orders, Belgium reinforces ties with NATO and the United States. Frank Ken has emphasized the F-35 superior capabilities and its deterrent effect against adversaries like Russia, a stance that has caused friction with some European aerospace leaders. Dassault Aviation CEO Eric Trappier has publicly questioned the compatibility of Belgium's F-35 alignment with Gaza's goal of European defence sovereignty, casting doubt on Belgium's role in the programme's industrial value chain. Conversely, other European industry figures like Safran CEO Olivier Andry's advocate for an inclusive approach that leverages Belgian expertise in fields such as electronics, cybersecurity, and composites to enrich Gaza's technological base. Looking beyond the demonstrator phase, Belgium's strategic defense vision foresees further investment in FCAZA's third phase post-2030, signaling a long-term commitment. By seeking governance participation in the program, Belgium aims to synchronize its immediate defense needs with broader European industrial ambitions. How France and other core partners will navigate Belgium's dual path, balancing European strategic sovereignty with Atlantic defense priorities, remains an unfolding aspect of Europe's complex defense landscape.